Yeah, I guess you could say that. Um, we had to have a lot go uh, go right. I mean, uh, we have the first four guys get on base and lead off the game, and we did a good job of limiting the damage. Only two runs. Nice to see the guys be able to come back and, and answer with a couple when we could have had more. Um, and then he locked in. I mean, from the third to the sixth, let he give up one, maybe a blue pit. After that, he, he looked like he really found something, and um, so got on a good roll. And um, yeah, just uh, guys kind of relentless. A couple big hits, obviously Gritchick early, Gritchick late, um, Stephen Diaz, and then you know Carp an exclamation point on it. Just a great effort. These games are never boring with these guys, that's for sure. I'm sure he'll give you a good answer what he thinks it is. It'd be better than my answer what I think it is. Last four starts for Wayne Wright, you know, the struggle early and then find that the game goes on. Is there something to that pattern? Yeah, if there was something, we would sure eliminate it if we knew what it was. I mean, I think every time he goes out, he thinks he gets a little closer. Um, it looked like he found something. You've heard me say that before, though. So, um, you know, he... He got locked in, and whatever it was when he got locked in, that looks like Adam, and just need to figure out how to take that out next time from the top. But um, he did a great job of keeping us in that game. That could have gone bad in a hurry. Is he becoming, uh, is he becoming more convinced that after he gets an extra base hit, he should be better? <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that seems to be a popular theory. So, yeah, we're telling all the pitchers to swing real hard, get extra base hits, and then they're Pitching will lock in. Um, yeah, we uh, well, we need the offense too from Adam. He's he's been a big producer for us and got a little something going too. But um, I, I just think it's a rhythm issue. I think there's a couple things mechanically he's doing. I think um, I think he feels good where he is right now. What did he do during that play? He just sat there. Yeah, like most of our guys should have. They all stayed on the field. We knew it was going to take a while. It takes him a while to get suited up. Um, but he just kind of took advantage of the shade. He has, I mean, a little deceptive when you look at his numbers and you, look, you get distracted by his average. I mean, the guy's driving in runs. And he's been hitting balls hard. Um, two big at-bats, especially that, that two-out RBI, just taking, you know, taking what they're giving him. Uh, to answer your question, uh, we're trying to find good matchups uh, when he's in a good spot. And um, once again, young player, still learning the league, still learning himself and how to make adjustments and trying to help him. Um, when it looks like he needs some help, whether it's a day off or, or whether get him in there in a cleanup spot on a day, we thought it might be a good matchup, and, and uh, he came through for us. Was the bunt from Yachty just a chunk of Grant Ford to play and just miss where he wanted it, or what, what, what was going on there? So we have this philosophy. Um, sometimes we put the bunt on. Sometimes guys do it on their own. And, um, yeah, that's our... I know, but there's still not another answer to give you. I mean, I don't know where else you want me to go with it. We're still going on with the same question. I'll stick with the same answer. Yeah, just, yeah and it's taking great at-bats. And uh, obviously, uh, staying inside the ball and driving it to the middle of the field, the way the ball's jumping off the bat for him. Um, and then staying inside of it to be able to keep that ball fair down the left field line, uh, just um, quality at bats all the way through. And he's in a he's in a nice spot. He's, uh, he's he was very deliberate when he was working in his in BP today. It was interesting. Um, you could tell he had a plan of what he thought he might have to see today, and um, he had a, he had a nice game plan and then executed it. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, all the guys. Um, he's, he's just a talented player, and he can be a little streaky at times, just like every player can. Um, but he's exciting to watch, and he's made some hard outs too. Once again, I think the numbers probably aren't indicative of the kind of at-bats that he's taken, but the ones that stand out are the times where he's having picking up, you know, trouble picking up the ball, the one breaking out of the zone he's chasing. Um, we got to try and continue to work, and he will. And there's times when he's really taking it well and, and just uh, you know spitting on the ball that's falling out of the zone below, uh, low. So um, I, I think today is something real positive to build off of. Mike, was there a change in the energy in the dugout at this point when you guys fall behind versus maybe three minutes ago? Um, you guys have been able to rally on the field, but has there been a change in the energy that's, that's gone with 
I'd say when we're down early, um, pretty unfazed because I think our, our guys believe in our offense right now. Um, you know, you give up a lead late, and that's pretty much a, a kick right in the gut, and you lose your air just a little bit. You could tell not just in our dugout, but in the whole stadium. Um, and that's, that's uh, the danger that uh, happens when you lose a late lead. Um, but, you know, I thought they did, once again, a real nice job of jumping back in there and, you know, Diaz doing what he's been doing, um, you know, using his legs that time and, and then uh, letting Carp do his thing. Hazel Baker just missed one, too. I'd say there's a good chance. That guy can run. Yeah. You know, and then to top that point, Adams um, coming up on that ball could have very easily taken the easy out but made a tough throw and goes ahead and tries to get the out and, and does successfully get the out at second base, which holds Polanco first where he would have scored no matter what, and then they take the lead. Big play. Oh, huge play, yeah. Just heads up, heads up baseball.